Well, the Stern Grove Concert Series kicks off this weekend with a group of jazz musicians that started playing music together in college. Almost 20 years later, Snarky Puppy is still going strong. Musician and founder Michael League told our Gianna Franco that he never imagined their large group and unique sound would still be a big part of his music career. In what started as a fun thing to do in college, uh, it was just a group of college friends getting together and playing music I was writing. Turned into a music career that has spanned two decades. And I had no idea that the band would still be around like almost 20 years later. You know, we turned 20 in June. That's Michael League, the founder of Snarky Puppy. Their style, sometimes called jazz, funk, rock, fusion. I try to avoid describing it because I, I feel like any name that I put on it at a certain point the band does something that then contradicts that. So I just say instrumental music um, because that's consistent, but also sometimes it's not, because <laughs> sometimes we sing. For Michael, the sound is unique, and sometimes it's just hard to describe. The main vocabulary that's in use on stage every night is jazz vocabulary. Everyone in the band is a jazz musician, even if the band is not necessarily a jazz band. So um, I would say what we do is we combine elements of various forms of black American music. Obviously jazz, funk, blues, rock. But it's a sound that works. The grand total number of currently active musicians in the band is 20. Um, we normally tour with between nine and 12 at a time. We kind of rotate people in and out. It's almost like kind of like line changes on a hockey team or something. And are there people in the band that have been there with you for almost 20 years that are part of the original Snarky Puppy group? We have five of the original 10 still play, yeah. They'll be playing Stern Grove for the first time. This tour is really about playing the new music. Like, you know, we'll, we'll throw in maybe a few old things. As for the name, it was a band name that my brother was going to use, who's five years older than me, for a band that he had when I was in high school. So that name just kind of always stuck in my head. And so I just used, I was like, oh, Snarky Puppy, that's funny. And so I made like a little poster with 10, like that had 10 puppies on it and put it everybody's like name over the puppy and posted it on the walls of the school. Cause it's cause I thought it was like, I, I need to get some, you know, do something funny to get people to come to this show. Clearly it hit the right note. And if you can't make it this weekend, we will carry the show live on our sister station, KBCW, and streaming on CBS News Bay Area through the CBS News app. It all starts Sunday at 2 p.m.